Hey guys, it's Junior. Welcome back to my channel, Horsepower Warehouse. If you guys have been watching my channel previously, you guys know this channel, the whole purpose of this is not to try to drum up business or uh, you know, trying to push cars off on you guys. This is really more of a educational channel in that I wanna show you guys how I build these Corvettes and really what it takes uh, when I do the restorations on these cars. So with all that being said, we are getting pummeled by calls, emails, pigeons, any way that you can communicate with us about how much is it going to cost for us to restore your C2 Corvette. We are becoming well known and you know we, we are well known for being one of the best in the C2 restoration world and you guys if you've seen my previous videos you are familiar with why I do what I do on these Corvettes. I actually made a previous video labeled why I restore Corvettes incorrectly um, and please if you haven't seen that video yet please watch it because that kind of is an introduction to how I approach all of our builds. With that being said we're getting a lot of phone calls about people that they have a C2 Corvette and they want us to reproduce our process that we do on all of our own cars and the occasional customer car as well. How much is that going to cost? Now you're going to for someone that's translucent like me, I, I don't want to give a pie in the high es sky estimate. I don't want to be too overly optimistic or underly optimistic. You know, I, I want it to be as accurate as possible. So my initial answer is always I can't estimate your car without having it here in my facility so I can personally look at it. The reason being is you, there's a wide variance in how much it's going to be to restore your car if, now remember these are fiberglass cars, if it's damaged in the fiberglass body or if the chassis is rotten or any of the major components are unusable. You can spend a lot of money just in that and that's a, a really big variance. So I never want to give anyone a hard number but with that being said that wouldn't make for good content for this video so i want to pro provide you guys with as much information as possible what's it going to cost if you have a c2 corvette you want the body off of the chassis and you want us to reproduce our process i'm pretty hard-headed about not doing any partial restorations because if i can't produce this i, I pretty much do the same thing on all of my frame offs i, I approach the process the same exact way that I've been doing for years on cars that we own. Now in this shop we own every car here except for that blue 66 that was behind us. Another point of interest and I'll talk to you guys later about how it's cheaper to buy a finished car versus actually having someone restore it for you. But in order to have a, a base of reference for you guys so I'm just not t a talking head here I wanted to get some information and I needed to scour the internet to do so. So what I did is I found one of my major competitors. Very few people will actually post their information about what things cost, but I found someone. And if you guys take a look here, this is from DNA Corvette. I printed it out today. Basically the gist of this paper, and I'll go through slowly so you guys can kind of pause and read this if you would like. But in order to restore a 63 to 67 Corvette, it's going to take roughly 1,000 to 1,200 hours and 30,000 to $40,000 in parts at $60 per hour for a complete restoration. It's 75 for their partial. So let's say 1,100 hours, which is right in the middle, times 60, that's 66,000 in labor plus 35,000 in parts, which is right in the middle. They're saying $101,000 for a base restoration on an undamaged, rust-free small block car. Now, undamaged probably means not hit. Rust-free, meaning it does not need a new chassis or any components. And then just a small, base small block car. Optional equipment is extra. And if we go to their extra pages, I've actually printed one out for their 1966 Corvette. And you guys can see 
how much extra everything would cost if you were to have this establishment do your car. Now, you guys, when I get a lot of phone calls and I tell people what it costs to do these cars, how long it takes, how much in parts I'm gonna spend, a lot of people go, oh my gosh, you are nuts. But you will find that when you find, when you call places that have done it dozens and dozens of times, like my establishment, like my major competitors that have done it, this is actually what it will take to build your car. And you'll notice you spent 101,000 to actually build a car, but they have DNA furnished Corvettes. If you wanted a 66, they can provide you a 66 Corvette for 95 grand for a base car. So it's $6,000 cheaper to just buy one already done from these people. And then plus, of course, all the options. If you want side pipes and knockoffs and power brakes and power steering and blah, 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 you know, that's all a la carte, that's extra. On top of this, 95, but they will provide you a car for cheaper than if you were to provide them with a donor car. And that's a really good talking point. You know, why is it that when I go to sell this 66 Mozport 427 car, it is probably going to sell for cheaper than if you were to have brought me this car and said, Junior, I want you to build this. Reason being, this thing is the cat's meow. This is a real knockoff with bias plies and side pipes. And I mean, I went the full nine on this car. I'm going to show it to you guys next week. I'm not trying to skimp out here on the content, but I'm almost done with this car and it's going to show Bang, I'm gonna get it on my LED lit lift and show you the bottom, all the markings that I've done. This thing's got $150 worth of 110 leaded race gas in it. Uh, it's ready for its first crank up. I'm probably going to finish this car this week. I really hope so, because I'd love to get it out of my shop, start on the next one, and this thing will sell quickly. And why do I say that it's going to sell quickly? Well, if you guys remember last week, I, introduced you guys to our 427 now this is an ultra rare this is a big block with factory ac i've never seen one of these before but you'll notice bang i told you guys this thing i said i told i said this will sell quickly i bet this is a fantastic car and it sold just as quick as a lot of our other stuff that is true to form you'll notice that the resto mod is still here this is a fantastic car this is the build you would want if you were looking for a resto mod ls3 powered 63 coupe but you know it's a lot harder to find a person that's looking for this in relation to someone that's looking for you can find 10 people that's looking for this and that's why we don't build a lot of resto mod cars to market for our inventory side is you know it's if you build it true to form every time you will always have a buyer for it on the back end if you build it to your a la carte specifications you have to find someone that likes what you like i mean there are people that hate gray metallic and they hate red seats and obviously you know they're they're not a buyer for this car but i mean you're not going to change the paint job on something like this the paint probably costs 30 grand to do this so you kind of have to be in love with it when you buy it that being said i'm sure this car will sell it at that number too the 65 coupe that i had showed you guys last week is pretty much wrapped up at this point you can see we don't have the windshield wipers on and we don't have the spears above the side pipes yet because we're not finished detailing it i like to install those last so i can get into all the nooks and crannies with our micro buffers and try to you know really finish the car out you can see the interior, all fresh, brand new carpet. It looks fantastic. Uh, Sean, our technician, did the interior on this one. He did a really great job. So this car will be coming up for sale in the next week. It will probably sell quickly because I really like this white on um, blue. It's like a really classy combination. Gold lines with the side pipes. And this is, of course, a four-speed car, so yeah i'm sure this one will sell i don't know if it'll sell as quickly as that one i think that one sold so quickly because it's just so ultra rare i mean to have a 400 horse 427 factory air convertible 67 holy cow guys 
take one more look at it because probably by the next time I air my next video this will be gone. It's sad because these things come and go and I'll probably never see one again. Um, I'm just honored to be able to oogle it. <laughs> this one is waiting for service. That one is waiting for service. They both need minimal things, um, but we haven't gone through and given them our blessing yet. That's why they're not for sale. Same thing with the red 64 over here, the convertible. So we've got quite a bit going on here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'd like to know what you guys think below. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching my content. You're awesome. But please comment down below. Let me know what do you think in terms of restoring these cars? What should it, do you think it should take in terms of labor, time, parts? I mean, the, the, some things are you know non-negotiable, but what is acceptable to spend on a restoration on a Corvette? For me, I can't pay attention to the final value of the car. The restoration cost is just a representation of how much time and what the parts cost. And it is what it is. Luckily for me, a lot of these cars are really worth restoring on the back end. They've been appreciating for years and years now, and they're never going to stop um, as long as they're built correctly. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. Until next time, take care.